upon the grace of Christ. Let us go to Revelation. The Revelation chapter 3 and verse 7. The angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things says he who is holy, who is true. He who is true, he who has the key of day, he who opens and no one shuts, it shuts and no one opens. I know your works, you have said before an open door, no one can shut it. For you have little strength, have kept my word, I have not denied my name. Did not make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews or not, but lie. Indeed, I will make them come and worship before your feet to know that I've loved you. <clears throat> because you have kept my uh, my command to persevere, I'll also keep you from the hour of trial, which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I'm coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, and no one may take your crown. He who overcomes, I'll make him appeal in the temple of my God. He shall go out no more. Write on him the name of my God, the name of the city of my God, the Jerusalem which comes down out of heaven from my God. I will write on him my new name. He who has an ear, let me hear what the Spirit says to churches. Amen. This is a church. A church which is called Philadelphia. And the main characteristic of the church is love among the brethren. So the main characteristic is the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Because there is... <clears throat> They cannot have a perfect love among brethren unless there is the fullness, the, the fullness of the Holy Spirit dwells in there. And Philadelphia, that's what it means, is love among brethren, literally. So they have the fullness of the Holy Spirit. You cannot have all the full not fulfill the commandment, love each other as I loved you, unless you have the power and the fullness of the Holy Spirit. You cannot do it otherwise. The result of this love that comes from the power of the Holy Spirit is to not to have anyone who is needful. Love is takes care. They love God the Father. Takes care of us. He is the one who takes care of us. He's love. Because he loves us. That's why he loves us. He wants us to become imitators of God. They walk alone. This can only happen through the Holy Spirit. A person who is not, who doesn't, he's not filled, he's not filled with the Holy Spirit, and does not edify himself, does not draw near to God in the Holy Spirit. Is danger? to participate in the rapture of the church. You may not believe on that day or those hours before the rapture of the church of those days. So we are all filled in the Holy Spirit of wisdom and power and faith by grace, by grace of the Lord. Because God loves us. Because He knows without this power of the Holy Spirit we cannot do anything.
So, to this angel of the Church of Philadelphia, God is disclosing a secret because within Christ are hidden all the secrets of wisdom and knowledge. There's a great secret though here. I am. I am the Holy One, the perfect. There's no one else. I am true. My words are true. And only if you remain my word, the truth will set you free. I have the key of David. Only I. The key of David is unique, brother. Whoever has it, he opens, and no one shuts. And shuts, and no one opens. And no one can shut. Everything, everything depends on the Holy One, who is the King of David. He's the one who opens our hearts, and no one is able to shut it. If we leave, no one is able to shut our heart. And no, he's the one who opens our home, and no one is able to shut it. He has the absolute authority. When we say that he is the head of the church, he is the one who rules. He is not only the king, <clears throat> he is the absolute master. Nothing happens in his church unless he does it, unless he allows it. Nothing. No one else may intervene in his church. No power. No power is able to intervene. The church is the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Which is living body without a soul is dead and the body of Christ is living because God the Spirit of God uh, master of the church is Christ alone so you made a decision to be a member of the church As a member of the church, whatever happens in your life, Christ would do it. As long as long as you are, you're the fragrance of Christ. His latter days. You remember where Elijah was. He was hidden in the cave. I'm not leaving this place. He was saying, I'll die here. He was by himself, isolated. And there was a great earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. It was fire, wind. But Christ was not in the wind. All of a sudden, there was a breeze. He understood. He understood that God is there. What's the Holy Spirit? When the Holy Spirit blows, then the power of God comes down. Elijah was 
was intimidated, uh, uh, disappointed. And God asked him, what are you doing here? What are you, what are you doing here? Is that how I want you to be? What are you doing here? What are you doing? Come out. We have w we have work to do in order to make it to the end. These are the words of God, brethren. We have work to do to make it to the end. Unless you finish your work, you're not going to make it. When you make it to the end, then when you finish everything that I asked you to do, then you'll make it to the end. So quickly, get up. Elijah did not bring any objections. He understood because God filled him with the Holy Spirit through the breeze of the gentle through the gentle breeze. And now he's going to proceed. He's going to run. He's going to go ahead because he knows when the end comes that God has given him to do. The Lord is going to come with a chariot of fire. Now in this church. The first thing he reveals the church is I'm up op I'm opening and no one can shut I'm sh and I'm shutting and no one can open when I open everything will be open You have a little strength. What do you do when you have a little strength? Be careful. What are you doing when you feel you don't have anything to do? <clears throat> Come on. Come on. I don't know how to behave. I don't know what to say to do. What to say, what to do? I don't know. Just learn one thing. You need to keep my word. Don't become a forgetful hearer. Study study my word I'll lead you through my word you know to keep my word you need to never deny my name Never, nothing happens in your life unless I allow it. Keep my word and don't deny my Lord. You are my Lord and my God. Only you. I'm not able. I don't know, but you. I don't trust anyone at all. I don't trust anyone else. Only one is the Lord my God, the Lord Jesus Christ. And I confess the Lord, I confess the Lord Jesus Christ, who is my Lord, before the heavenly and other world powers him. He is my teacher, my instructor, he is my friend. <clears throat> there is no other person for me. Hallelujah. There's only one.
because he is the Almighty, I'm not concerned. I am in absolute safety because I belong to him. Because I've made a decision of death. Help me out, Lord. Help me to make it the decision of death, Lord. To, to confess, uh, you are my Lord. I belong to you. And the Lord says, I know your works. You have little strength. But you kept my name. You didn't deny my name. Thus, I said before you, an open door. Nobody is able to shut. Do you see it? I don't see it. Do you see it? I don't But I said, he opened the uh, the door. Great. No one is against. No one is able to close. Do you see it? Only through faith you'll be able to see it. I don't see it, but I believe that you have set an open door before me. I believe it because I'm an absent weakness. I'm studying the Word of God. Help me out. Grant me the uh, attitude of Christ. I believe it because I confess that you are the Lord my God. There's no other name. There's only one name given by God, the Lord Jesus Christ. The Son of the Living God. I hope and I call for that name. I glorify them. I confess that. Thus, please open this door. Do we understand this? Help me, our Lord. I understand this. This word is personal to them. For every one of us. Do we understand this? That I said an open an open door before you that always able to shut. Say amen, brother. Amen. We believe it. Because we have little strength. We are an absolute weakness. But help us, Lord, to keep your word precisely till the end. We're not going to say till death, till the rapture of the church. And if you want to say till death, but help us, Lord, <clears throat> Lord, to keep your name and confess the Lord Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And through this open door, which is open, I'll make all those all those who say that they are Je Jews and they are not Christians, but they are not. They are not Christians. Why? Because they don't keep my word. De they deny my name. When somebody does not keep the name of the, the word of the Lord, he's not a Christian. But all those who say they are, but they are not. I'll make them like them to come. They will come to this very bright open door. I'll make them come and worship your Lord and your God. 
before your feet and to know I confess that I have loved you. And now the main point. Because you kept the word of my patience, I'll keep you and from the hour of trial and the rupture of the church. Because you kept my command to persevere. I didn't say God or oh, the Lord is delaying to come. The Lord is long suffering. No matter what happens, you're not saying what the others are saying. You're saying there's the long suffering of God in all this. But he allows Jezebel to hunt down Elijah, it's the long suffer of God because he needs to understand and comprehend the uh, wind of gentle, the gentle wind, the sound of that is the long suffering of God. No matter what happens, it's the long suffering of God. God does not delay to come, as some people perceive to be a delay. But he's long suffering to us. Doesn't long suffer to us. He's long suffering to us. And that impressed me. He doesn't want anyone to perish, but all of us to come to repent. He's long suffering to me and to my family. He's long suffering to my kin to my kinsmen. He is long suffering with me. Because he kept the word of my. You're not saying, well, he's, uh, what he's going to do, and what am I waiting for still? But you say, glory to God. Long suffering of the Lord is whatever happened. No. no, what happens is long suffering of the Lord to us because He doesn't want any one of us to perish but to come to uh, to repentance or return. He gives a chance to your house to enter deeply the Word of God. In order to keep the word of God, study these things and remain this thing, and then your progress will be evident before all. And watch out to confess the name of the Lord Jesus, to say this is a long suffering of the Lord. The Lord is allowing. It's the will of God. You will be done on earth as it is in heaven. If you keep the word, if you keep my word, then I will keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I'm coming quickly. How important this point is. The main point in for our salvation is to understand that, that God long suffers for us. No matter what happens, it's the long suffering of God. It's the long suffering of God. I remember once. I remember the sister was very ill. She wanted us to go and pray. We prayed. Um, actually, her spouse was well. We prayed and God made him well. And then we rejoiced. And after five days, he passed away. I was at a loss. The sister came to me and said, my, my husband passed away. What can I say? He wasn't, but he was well. According to the Lord, he was well. 
the Lord, the doctor said this, but you know what the Lord said to me? What did he say to you? I don't want to allow him to come out of the hospital. He wouldn't be able to enter heaven. It was my own long suffering that I received them. And thus there's many deaths. It's the long suffering of God. How many people who are alone? They have no one next to them because then nobody's allowed to be next to them. They can come to this sense to say, Christ, please save me, forgive me. That was grieving until, the, until this point. And I was getting angry with myself. Because there's great evil upon the whole world. But the Lord came and talked to me and said, This is my long suffering. I'm long suffering to you. Because I don't want. I don't want people to perish, but all of them to come to repentance. He reminded me of Nathu Salah, who lived the most, and yet 969 years. And when the Lord received them, days before the flood, couldn't have kept them 10 more days. If he had kept them, he wouldn't have entered the, f the ark. And he received them in order to have them with him. Thus, brethren, whatever we don't understand, uh, it does not say it's his fault. It's long suffering of God. It's a long suffering of God that Jezebel it was wrathful and wanted to murder <coughs> Elijah. It was a long suffering of God to save Elijah because Elijah would never have gone to Elisha and Elisha would not be the word of work of, of God it's the long suffering of God only keep the, the command to persevere don't say the Lord till when Lord say glory to your name Lord because we know God who is true because then our minds consider in vanity and our heart is getting black it's black <coughs> grievance from infidelity How can how can I be obedient to your will? Are you gonna praise me in every circumstance of your life? It's not to shout outside in the world that I believe in Christ, but before the other powers in heaven and earth and on the world, how can you confess the name of the Lord Jesus? It is to praise the Lord. Thank the Lord. I thank you, Lord. Apostle Paul said, I, I rejoice for my afflictions. When I'm weak, then I'm strong. And the great secret of life is to keep the word of his patience. Let us never say Glory to your name, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Because you want all of us to be saved. You're not able to understand. Believe the name of the Lord Jesus. Believe the name of Jesus. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. What do we have, brethren? The Word of God and our confession. Don't stop to keep the Word of God. Don't stop to 
to start the world to insist to to stoop down the perfect law of liberty this is what you Christ as has not given you anything else what else has given his word and his Holy Spirit keep what you have the Holy Spirit keep your praise your obedience uh, and the circumstances are going to come what you're not going to praise glory to your name Lord Jesus for your church glory to you glory to you Lord Jesus for who we are glory to you Lord because the church is open glory to you Lord because we have the your word glory to you Lord because we have your word and glory to your name of Jesus because you're coming to receive us amen brother we have nothing else to praise the Lord you're coming you come to receive it. Glory to you, no. We are pitiful. He was. We give you all the glory. Whatever. When you're ever. You giving us. You doing that in order to praise you and listen to what the Lord told me. When Jesus was crucified. the day before the gospel of john and uh, uh, the the lord said to the father glorify your name and he said i'll glorify I'll glorify it again and when he's going to glorify it again now the first apostolic church i'll glorify it again and i received joy because the time has come for God to be glorified through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. For the Lord Jesus to ascend with his church. Glory to his name. Thus, let's become overcomers. To overcome our heart, our doubt, our fears, our weaknesses. <clears throat> with praise with confession in the name of Jesus by keeping the word of God we have nothing else in our lives to praise whoever overcomes I'll make him a pillar in my church he will never come out again And write on him the name of my God, the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down of heaven for my God. And write on him my new name. Whoever has an ear, let me hear what the Spirit says at churches. Whoever has an ear, let me hear what the Spirit says at churches. Amen.